guys, this is Tom from Marshall Tackle Defense. Today I'm going to show you how to protect that gun should you end up on the ground. It's very common, especially if you're a concealed carry holder, to know how to control that weapon. About 80% of the fights end up on the ground, so it's very important you know what to do. Another consideration you have to figure out is what kind of service are you on? If you're on the street, on the catam, just even hitting your head could spell disaster if you get knocked out. So it's very important you know how to fall. First thing you do, you're gonna put a, your foot back at an angle. You're gonna crack, you sit down on your knee, your butt, and you're gonna come right, right back in the guard. From this angle, somebody pushes me here, right back in the guard. Uh, 45 degree slap down and up. With your head tucked, it's very important. So if we're in an altercation and he tries to tackle me, you can go down. He's probably gonna come right on me right here, right? So I gotta be prepared that he might come with me. I don't know what's gonna happen. I come right back up to guard. Let's try to get. You see this line where wrestlers will come in here, they'll try to maybe come behind your legs and try to take you down and get on top of you. Or, uh, you see a lot of MMA guys who do the ground to pound, they get you pinned and just go like this. Okay, now the twist we're gonna do today is that in the midst of him grabbing me, he's gonna feel this, okay? And when he gets on top of me, he can try to go for that gun. One of the things you wanna do is always control that weapon with keeping this at four o'clock. If I keep it here or in the back, it's very dangerous. One, if I have a piece of metal on my back and I fall, I could get injured. And the gun's behind me, I'm laying on it. I got this guy on top of me and I can't access the gun if I need to. So, that's not very tactical. If I keep it here, I fall down. It's a nice plain view for him to actually see it and grab it easier than on my side. So I always recommend the four o'clock. As he takes me down, he's gonna stay on top of me. He's initially gonna go for the ground and power, or as he goes down, he's gonna go for that weapon and try to take it out and shoot me. My job is, we're gonna show you guys some different techniques you can use to control the weapon and just get him off you. Okay, stop. I had him pinned. So, I see. I don't know. What, we didn't rehearse this. I have no idea what he what he was going to do. As I'm moving around, it's 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 a sloppy. This isn't very clean. I'm moving around. I'm controlling this weapon as I go. I'm trying to look for a tactical position so I can at least stop him and get some control. Right? I can use some kind of strikes until he lets go of this weapon. My hand is going to control that weapon. Right? I got. See that? So I got all kind of stuff to do. I'm still controlling, still controlling. Okay. Okay, okay that's good. So he almost got it. All right? So this is ugly, it's very hard. I have one arm against his whole body. He has two arms. I'm tied up now. I can't do as many techniques. So, <clears throat> just gonna kinda rest around and play with it, try it out. Just keep that weapon control. Until next time, stay safe and learn.